In this video, let's talk about abstract keyword. Now, what is abstract? So before that, let's understand something. So we know what is class, what is object, what is inheritance, and how do we do overriding of the methods, right? Now with those knowledge, let's talk about abstract keyword. So for that, what I will do is I will create a class here and let me name this class as let's say a car. Okay. Now in this car, you will define some methods. Let's say if we talk about car, a car can drive, of course, right? Uh, a car can play music as well, public void. I mean, that's what we do, right? We play also, we also play music in the car. You know, some people, they don't start their car before playing the music or they don't start, they don't uh, set it on a drive mode before, uh, before they play the music. Okay. So we have these two methods, let's say, or maybe we can, we can add some more methods in the car. Maybe you can sleep in your car and other methods, but let's say we have this two, we have drive and we have play music. And of course, in this method, I can define some statements. Let's say when I say it is playing music, I can say play music or we can write multiple statements. Logic is not important. The important thing is a concept. Let's focus on that. So we, let's say in the play music, we have this statement and in drive, let's say at this point, I'm not sure. I want to build my own car, but I'm not sure how can I drive a car? I know how to implement play music, but I don't know how to set up the engine. I'm manufacturing my own car, so I don't know how to set up the engine, how to set up the wheels, but a car should drive. That's what I know. And that's why it's a, we call it a car, right? If you don't have a drive feature, then why you, you will call it a car? You can state it's a, a home theater. Anyway, now if I want to use this car, I can simply create an object. I can say obj, a car obj equal to new car. And then I can call the methods. I can call both the methods, obj.drive and obj.playmusic. Of course, we have two methods, so I, I should be able to call them. Now, if you observe in the drive, we are not doing anything. Why we are not doing anything? Because I don't know how to implement drive, but I know how to implement play music. So I'm able to create this object and I'm able to call these two methods. And I, I think it should work. And if I go back and run, it works. It's not like if you don't define something, it will not work. It's working. The only thing is when you're defining this method, you are actually not implementing anything here. You're not writing any statements. So it's valid in Java syntax term. But as a feature, I mean, just imagine you're buying a new phone and your phone says it can do this feature, this feature, feature one, feature two, feature three, but then none of the feature works. Of course, you will not buy any phone like that, right? In the same way, if we talk about this car, you are writing a method over here, which is drive and you're not implementing it. Why someone should be able to create object of this? Why in first place, someone should create a class itself, right? When you don't know how to implement it. So the thing is, when you build an application, you have a structure which you follow. You design your application. Not, I'm not talking about the thing you, which you see on the screen. I'm talking about when you build an application, you design on paper. What are the classes you need? What are the methods you need? Now, at this point, you know how to play music, but you don't know how to drive. Now, in that case, should I remove this method completely? If I do that, then how will you call it as a car? So what you can do is you can say, hey, you know, I am creating this method drive, but I'm not sure what should I implement it here. So instead of defining it here, so when you open the curly brackets and close, you are basically defining a method. So instead of defining a method, you can basically declare a method, which means you can put a semicolon at the end. When you do that, you are declaring a method. That also means that the drive feature you had declaring, but it is not working and no one should be able to create object of it. Okay, again, we'll see that in some time, but when I declare it, it is giving you an error. Now, first of all, why you will declare it when you are not defining anything? Maybe I have this mindset, someone else can just come back and they can say, uh, they can implement a car. Maybe they, they, they will build a, a wagon, let's say, uh, and a wagon will extend my car and it is the wagon's responsibility. In fact, you know, instead of saying wagon, let's say wagon art, it's a very famous car if you search online. Uh, so we have this wagon art, a car which some of them don't like, not a big fan of it, but <laughs> okay. So let's say we have this car, Wagonar extends car. In fact, I have a car which is smaller than Wagonar, uh, which I love. So we have this class Wagonar extends car here. And what I, what I want here is I want this Wagonar to implement the drive feature. See, if you think car is just an abstract concept, right? No one actually buys a car. What you buy is a real car. Uh, like Wagonar or BMW GLS or to Toyota Fortuner or Ford EcoSport, right? So you buy a real car. You don't buy a car. This is just a concept. So when I say drive here, a car don't know how to drive. But then when you, re when you create a real car, that car will know how to drive. 
So I want this Wagonar to be responsible to define this method. Okay, so I can just copy this and paste it here. And here, instead of de declaring it, I will define. So what I want is I want this Wagonar to implement it. Of course, the other feature like play, play music can simply be extended, but not drive. Drive should be implemented here. And Wagonar, I mean, the company who built Wagonar uh, cars, it's their responsibility to define the method here. I can say driving. Of course, they will write a complex logic, but just to make it simple, I'm writing one statement. So they are responsible to define this method and we're not doing it here. Now, if you want to declare a method, you can see we are getting an error here. You can use an abstract keyword. So when you say abstract, it means I'm just giving you the abstract idea of a car should have a drive feature, but I don't know how to implement it. Now, when you are using my feature and when you call your vehicle as a car, it should have a drive feature or whatever object you're creating is a car, you need to have a drive feature. And that's how you make it. So you make a public abstract void drive. So you have to use an abstract keyword. If you want to declare a method, okay? Here we are defining it. But if you can see, even if I do abstract, it is giving you an error. It says the abstract method drive in type car can only be defined by an abstract class. Okay, what it simply means is if you have an abstract method, abstract method can belong to only abstract class. So that means you have to make this class as abstract as well. So you can have abstract methods only in the abstract class. And whichever class is extending the abstract class will have this drive method. If you don't do that, it will give you error. Example, if I change the method name, you can see it will give you error. It says the type wagonr must implement the inherited abstract method car.drive. So if you are extending an abstract class, you need to define it compulsory, otherwise it will not work. So you have to define, you have to basically override the method. Now, when someone creates an object of a car, in fact, first of all, you can't create the object of abstract class, point, very important point. And that's why you can see we got an error here. It says, cannot instantiate the type car. It simply means you cannot create object of car. So the point, remember, you cannot create object of an abstract class. Okay, but then can I create a reference of abstract class? Yes, that is possible. You can say car obj that is absolutely correct. But if you want to create an object, you have to create object of not car, but wagon art. Okay. And then with this obj, you can call drive, you can call uh, play music. And we have talked about dynamic method dispatch. And we know when you call drive, it will be calling drive of wagon art, not of car. Anyway, it is, de it is declared, right? Uh, so basically, that's how you can create an abstract class. That's how you can create an abstract method. And basically, that's how you can uh, restrict the creation of the object here. Now, a few more points to remember. Is it compulsory to have an abstract method in the abstract class? I mean, we know that it is compulsory to have the abstract method. You need abstract class, right? But is it compulsory to have an abstract method in the abstract class? Let's do that. If you come in this section, okay, you can see there's no problem. It's not like an abstract class should have abstract method. Abstract class can have abstract methods. It can have normal methods. So you can have an abstract class with, which only has abstract methods. You can have abstract class which has only implemented methods, which are this, which are non-abstract methods. And you can have an cl abstract class which can have both normal methods as well as the abstract method. And you can create multiple abstract methods, okay? Example, if I can come back here and say, hey, you know, I want a car to fly. I don't know uh, when this is possible. But in the movies, you see that, right? So a car jumps from one building to the other building. Uh, okay, and uh, I hope you know the movie name. But anyway, so if you talk about this abstract method, which is fly, and you can see I'm declaring it here. Now, when you declare a method, and when you say you have an abstract class, which is getting implemented, or which is getting uh, extended by another class, it becomes compulsory for you to define one more method here. So you can say public, not abstract, you can say public void. You have to define fly as well, otherwise it will not work. So you can say flying, okay? And now with this, you can call the methods. You can say obj.fly, and this should work. Compile, run, and you can see it says driving, play music, and flying. Now there's one important thing here, which is what if, when you are creating this class wagonr, and then you're not able to implement fly, what will happen? First of all, it's compulsory to define all the methods, okay? all the abstract methods. So you, you can see in this class, we have three methods, but only two methods are abstract. And that's why it says it should define fly as well as drive, but we are not implementing fly. So you, you can see it says the type wagon must implement the inherited abstract method car.fly. 
But what if you don't do that? So in that case, if you have a class which is not able to implement all the methods, in this case, even this class becomes an abstract class. So you have to make it abstract class. And you can see there's no error. But the problem now is you can't create object of abstract class. Right? So maybe you have to create a new class here by saying uh, updated Wagonar, which can also fly. And this will extend. Now, which class you want me to extend? The car or the Wagonar? Of course, Wagonar, right? Because you will get this drive feature from Wagonar. So you can simply extend it with Wagonar. And then here in this class, you can basically create object of fly. In fact, if you are using IDE and if you don't, if you're lazy to type, you can come to this error and you can say fix, quick fix, add un unimplemented methods, and it will do it for you. Okay, and here we can say flying. So even you can do that. The only thing is now the object will not be of Wagonar. The object will be of updated Wagonar. Is it the method in class name? Okay, it's up, it should be updated, right? So that's how you can create a object. So again, we are not creating object of abstract class. We are creating object of the class which is not, abst not abstract. Okay, now since we are calling this class as abstract class, even this class should have a name, right? So normally we call them as a concrete class. So we can say this is a concrete class. Okay, so we have abstract class and then we have concrete class. So you can create object of a concrete class, not an abstract class. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, that's about abstract keyword. So let me just reiterate, abstract keyword can be used with methods if you want to declare them. And if you have any abstract methods, you have to make a class as abstract. But again, on the other hand, if you have abstract class, there is no compulsion that abstract class should have abstract methods. An abstract class can have normal methods also. I mean, all the normal methods, no abstract methods. Even that is possible. Next point, remember, we cannot create object of an abstract class. If you want to create object, you have to get a class which, which implements all the methods, a subclass which implements all the methods, and then that class will be called as a concrete class and you can create object of it. So that's about abstract keyword.